Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rokon's class. In the class, I will talk about humanism movement in English literature. The humanism movement led the people of the then Europe to read Greek and Roman literature again. Have you ever thought why it is called humanism movement? If so, because the renewed interest in the ancient Greek literature freed Europe from the medieval influence of religion. Okay, now let's go to have an understanding of humanism movement. Look, the movement was based on the concept that human life should not be completely dedicated to religion. People can enjoy their lives where religion is a part. Religion is not everything of human life. People came to the belief due to the humanism movement. I know you are interested to know what results the movement brought to English literature. I am telling you, three young men, William Grossing, Thomas Lineker, and John Collett established a Greek learning center at the University of Oxford. Thomas More wrote Utopia, where Plato's influence is visible. A number of educationists inclined to Greek literature. There is another important issue, the humanism movement paved the way for renaissance. Let's think about our learning from the class. A simple thing we have learned, it is that the humanism movement shifted the position of religion from the center of human life. Wait, be clear. Religion was still there, but not in the center. Not everything of human life. I hope and believe that you are now clear. Thanks for staying in the class.